What's up, everybody? It's Jordan, and welcome to the Sports 2 Hind Show. In this video, I want to be talking about five Heisman dark horses you should be looking at as we get closer to the college football season. First up is Coastal Carolina quarterback Grayson McCall. Grayson McCall, to me, is the most underrated quarterback in college football right now. In 11 games last year for Coastal Carolina, he threw for 2,700 yards. His completion percentage was 70%. He threw 24 touchdowns, just two interceptions. He also ran for about 200 yards as well with six rushing touchdowns to go with it. When you look at Grayson McCall, the last three seasons for Coastal Carolina, he's tossed for over 8,000 passing yards. He's tossed for 78 touchdowns. He's tossed just eight interceptions. He's ran for over 1,000 yards, and he's ran for over 15 rushing touchdowns. He is 25-8 and eight as a starter. Grayson McCall is the most underrated quarterback right now. I honestly do not even think it's close. This is not a hot take. This is not an unpopular opinion. This is a straight-up fact. Grayson McCall is arguably the most efficient quarterback in college football history. During the 2021 season, Grayson McCall broke Matt Jones' record for the best pass efficiency ever in a season in college football history. Grace McCall, in three years starting, has just eight interceptions. That is absolutely insane. When you look at quarterbacks who have tossed for 100 passing touchdowns in their collegiate career, Marcus Mariota has the least amount of interceptions for a guy who's tossed for at least 100 interceptions. Mariota has 14. McCall could very well break that record. McCall has won the Sunbelt Player of the Year award the last three years. If he wins it this year, he will be the first player ever in college football history to win his Conference Player of the Year award four years in a row. Grayson McCall is definitely a guy to be looking at as we get closer to college football. Coastal Carolina plays UCLA early in the year. If Coastal Carolina loses this game, but McCall keeps it close, he's going to get lots more recognition. McCall is a guy who I think could possibly be a Heisman finalist if they're able to go undefeated. It's not likely they go undefeated, but if McCall has a great year like he has the last couple years, McCall is a guy we could possibly see in New York for the Heisman Trophy ceremony. But McCall is definitely a guy to keep an eye on as we get closer to the college football season. Another group of five quarterback who I think is a Heisman dark horse is UCSA quarterback Frank Harris. Last season for the Roadrunners, Frank Harris tossed for over 4,000 yards. He tossed for 32 touchdowns. He ran for over 600 yards, and he ran for nine touchdowns. When you look at Frank Harris, he has been spectacular for the Roadrunners the last two seasons. He has helped UTSA win their conference back-to-back -back years in Conference USA. In that span, they've had a 23-5 and record. Four of those five losses have been to against ranked teams. UTSA now moves to the American Conference, a significant upgrade compared to Conference USA where they were. UTSA, to me, I think they're the best team in the group of five right now. I think they're one of the most underrated teams in college football right now. They have a huge, huge, huge matchup against the Tennessee Volunteers on September 23rd. I honestly think UTSA has what it takes to upset Tennessee. If that happens, more than likely, that's going to be the college football upset of the season. If that happens, all eyes are going to be on UTSA and Frank Harris if they're able to defeat the Volunteers. And if UTSA represents the group of five in the New Year's Six Bowl, I could very well end up seeing Frank Harris as a Heisman finalist in New York City. Um, I really think Harris has what it takes to possibly end up being a Heisman Trophy finalist. There are two other group of five quarterbacks here I have on this list. One is Austin Reed, the quarterback of West Kentucky. When you look at Austin Reed, last year was his first year in the Hilltoppers offense, and he threw for over 4,700 yards. That is absolutely insane. He led the country in passing yards last season in his first year with a new offense, his first year on a new team. He had 40 passing touchdowns last season. That was ranked third in the country. He also ran for 225 rushing yards as well, along to go with eight rushing touchdowns. Like I said earlier, UTSA won Conference USA back-to-back -back years. With UTSA out of the picture, this is West Kentucky's conference. Nobody's going to come even remotely close to West Kentucky to win Conference USA this year. And on the conferences in college football, I honestly feel like West Kentucky is most likely to win their conference this upcoming season in Conference USA. I honestly think Austin Reed will have better stats this year compared to last year. West Kentucky faces Ohio State early on in the year in Columbus. I do not think the Hilltoppers will win this game, but I do think it could be close. Austin Reed, if he has a great performance and against Ohio State, which I think he is capable of having, 
I don't see another game West Kentucky loses the rest of the year. I think they're going to go 11 and one, win the conference, go 12 and one. And who knows, maybe they represent the group of five in the New Year's Six Bowl. I think we could see a situation where Austin Reed is a Heisman Trophy finalist and setting in New York to possibly hear his name called to win the Heisman Trophy this upcoming year. There's one other group of five quarterback I have in this list, and that is Ohio Bobcats quarterback Curtis Rourke. Last season for the Bobcats, Rourke played in 11 games. His completion percentage was 69%. He tossed for over 3,200 passing yards. He threw for 25 touchdowns, tossed just four interceptions. He also ran for about 250 yards and ran for four touchdowns as well. He was 8-3 and three as a starter. Two of those losses came against big teams like Iowa State and Penn State. Ohio hosts Iowa State this year, and I really think the Bobcats – can't upset the Cyclones this upcoming year. When you look at the four quarterbacks I've mentioned, Frank Harris, Austin Reed, Grayson McCall, and Curtis Rourke, I think Curtis Rourke and the Ohio Bobcats, out of these four teams here, Ohio is the team most likely to go undefeated. And if Ohio does go undefeated, I could definitely see Curtis Rourke being a Heisman Trophy finalist because there's very few teams to go undefeated. And that would mean Ohio won the MAC. That's something that Bobcats have not been able to do in over 50 years have a, such a big accomplishment, go undefeated, and Rourke has a similar performance like he did last year, I think Rourke could possibly end up being a Heisman Trophy finalist. When you look at these four quarterbacks here, like I mentioned, I think Rourke is most likely to take his team undefeated. But I think out of these four quarterbacks, Frank Harris, the quarterback UTSA, is the quarterback most likely to be a Heisman Trophy finalist. There's one final player here I have on my Heisman Dark Horses, and he is the only player not in the group of five. That is Braylon Allen, the running back for Wisconsin. When you look at Braylon Allen, in 12 games last year, he ran for over 1,200 yards and 11 touchdowns. His freshman year, he was absolutely insane. He had over 1,200 rushing yards and 12 touchdowns as well. Wisconsin is very, very fortunate. They play Ohio State, but they avoid playing Penn State and Michigan. If Wisconsin's able to go 11-1 or maybe 10-2, I don't expect them to beat Ohio State. But if they go 11-1 and their only loss is to Ohio State and if Braylon Allen has a similar performance – like he did last year, I could see a situation where Braylon Allen is possibly a Heisman Trophy finalist. Realistically, I think some of these quarterbacks, like I mentioned, may be more deserving to be a Heisman Trophy finalist than Braylon Allen. But honestly, out of these five players, I do think Braylon Allen is most likely to be a Heisman Trophy finalist simply because he's playing for a Power 5 team. He's playing for Wisconsin, a historic college football program who I think will be very good this year. If I had to pick one of those four quarterbacks who I think most likely would be a Heisman Trophy finalist this upcoming season, I think it is Frank Harris from UTSA. But out of everybody on this list, I think Braylon Allen, the running back for Wisconsin, is most likely to be a Heisman Trophy finalist this upcoming season. Comment your thoughts on this video. Comment who you think are some Heisman dark horses this upcoming year in college football. That about does it for this video. If you're new to the channel or if you've seen my videos before, I would really, really appreciate it if you like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all next time on the Sports Through Hind Show.